Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at Cage Kings 3 in the Neptune Stadium in Cork, standing alongside a victorious Elliot Levy. And Elliot, I promise you, the footage of this fight will not be lost or missing. <laughs> you won't have to message me for it. Um, but a great performance. I Thank bet you're you. glad we have it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. not us, but I, I bet you're glad that there is footage of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You still owe me the last video. I do. We'll, I'll make it up to you. Talk to me about this fight. I have to say you looked a lot more composed. Um, maybe if you thought you weren't getting the better of some of the striking exchanges, you were smart enough, straight under, good control, tuck him down, solidified the fight. Yeah, like it put me off a bit that he was a southpaw because I was planning loads of nice little tricks against a uh, orthodox fighter and uh, even like the kicks are a bit off and I could feel like he was just going to swing. I know I'm more technical, but I just didn't feel that. Didn't want to risk getting caught with something big, and I think he threw one in the first, so just wanted to stay a bit away from him. Do you think that kind of fits with the whole SBG ethos, how you don't get caught up on a partner, you're able to adapt, overcome as soon as you exactly, find something yeah. in a fight? Exactly, like I was starting off kickboxing, and everyone here thinks I'm going to go out and kickbox people, but for now all my fights have won on the ground, whether it's by TKO or submission, you know, I just went out and saw his legs was open, and he was swinging, so he was open for it. So. Yeah. Did I answer your question? Uh, kind of. Was, was, was. <laughs> I can't really give off. I go off on tangents as well a lot. A very active year. Um, what's next? I'm fighting Shinobi in four weeks in the UK in Liverpool. So that's me for that would be my fourth fight in four months. So it seems like I can remember a few years ago people would say, "Oh, Artem Lobov's away off for another fight." It's Thursday afternoon. He's taking a fight in Liverpool, a yeah. weight division higher. But now it seems like it's happening more regular for SVG. Peter Queeley and Dylan Took and some of that, two Dylan other guys are away over to. Uh, to London, short notice for a fight. You're doing it now again, four weeks' time. Yeah. This is just the ever-evolving trend. I just want to fight more. I don't get to fight in the gym. I don't like sparring hard. Since my last fight, I only sparred twice. I don't really want to get hit in the, in the gym, so I just you know, want to fight as much as possible, not get hurt and then go again. And then technically, one final thing, first round looked like he, he was seconds away from tapping with that head and arm choke. Break it down, what went wrong? Squeezing my hands instead of pushing the shoulder pressure. We did a class of that with John like two weeks ago and he was telling me to stay in mount, but I just didn't feel like I trusted myself. I felt like he was gonna bridge and roll and he did in the end anyway, but just went off the side I was trying to squeeze it and felt it was on, but I didn't want to risk giving out, burning out my arms, so. And then finally, your other, the other side of your life, do we class you as an Irish MMA fighter or are you a French man? No. Irish. I know Irish you get passport. a bit of stick for that. Yeah, I do a bit frog legs, you know. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, Irish, Irish MMA. Elliot, thank you very much. Very See much. you soon. See you soon. Yeah.